Dear students, it's nice to see you again in this video class through the Google. Today I'm going to discuss, in fact I'm going to continue the class that uh, we had about regarding, uh, regarding philosophy and education. Today I'm going to discuss with you some of the renowned philosophers that have imprinted their names in the history for their profound knowledge about philosophy and the discoveries and the problems, the social problems they came across during the course of their finding about philosophy. In fact, some of the philosophers have led their life for this and they have been executed because uh, their point of view or the outlook was uh, indifferent to the nature and thus uh, there arose uh, great hostility regarding the research I mean the philosophy. Being this, we understand first of all that the western philosophical tradition traces back to ancient Greek philosophy. The philosophy of today, the western philosophical tradition dates back to the Greek philosophers and uh, today we have 10 Greek philosophers regarding this who have uh, their own contributions in the field of philosophy with obscure ideas and findings. The evolution of philosophy and critical thinking in ancient uh, Greek started somewhere around the 6th century. We have the history of uh, the philosophy from the 6th century, 6th BC, arguably played a pivotal role in the subsequent development of the knowledge that we have today. As I discussed in the last class, that philosophy is nothing but knowledge that is acquired by experience naturally. And education is the knowledge that is we learn from, that we learn, we gain from books. So this philosophy is regarding the experience of life. And this is a outcome of the result that the philosophers have has uh, have had experienced this. So development of knowledge today, if we have a well defined uh, field of knowledge today, the credit goes to these philosophers. Mm, Greek philosophers play vital role in this. Philosophers practice very varying uh, approaches to their philosophical journey, seeking answers to known paradoxes, creating countless more on the way. This started with the first attempt by Thales, a name of a philosopher. Okay, so we are going to see today the 10 important philosophers that have their best contribution in the field of knowledge. Uh, that uh, and of course that is uh, regarded the concern with the life with the knowledge that we have in ancient times people had a rather strong belief in magic now we have to understand that before philosophy was introduced because philosophy is nothing but nature and this nature explains this sorry this philosophy explains people the real worthiness of nature or the world because world is nothing but nature before the philosophy people believed in magic and mythology without any purpose there is, was no logic there was no reason of their belief that is why some of the philosophers who opposed this uh, blind faith or superstitions were executed as I told in the beginning of this lecture. People believed in magic 
and mythology to interpret the world around them people believed mythology rather than reality they were more sentimental traditional than rational and practical they believed what they were told by their ancestors or forefathers so when there was a philosophy of life introduced by to the to them by the uh, these philosophers they were opposed the ancient greek philosopher brought a refreshing new approach to this quantum philosophical paradigm when people were not aware of what is actual philosophy there were the philosophers who raised voice against the mythology and uh, uh, magical I mean uh, and suppositions they wanted that they wanted to interpret world through their philosophical ideas to the people uh, of their ages their mysterious philosophical ideas on original natural science as well as the moral application of their philosophical values in society earned them the recognition that leads to this day some of the philosophers were could not uh, win the hearts of people where some philosophers imprinted their names in the history of philosophy they are specific i mean generally in in the field of knowledge they are still famous for their contribution like socrates plato thales like that aristotle these are the philosophers who have their different uh, opinion of life and they got through yes people later accepted their philosophy when they were opposed uh, during the prime days of the uh, recovered the discovery of life of the world parmenides is a follower of pythagoras he is also one of uh, the famous philosophers renowned figure in the philosophical paradigm of ancient greece his poems and thoughts have always seemed to be significantly influenced by xenophon's xenophanes leading the most historians to believe that he must have been his pupil among the pre socratic philosophers pre socratic philosophers there is a, a, a separate uh, group of philosophers who belong to the pre uh, socratic before socrates pre socratic uh, philosophers they are called pre socratic philosophers and they had their own uh, philosophy of life then comes sir uh, anaxagoras figures from the pre he, is, he also belongs to pre socratic era he is an influential philosopher scientist who lived and taught in athens for almost he he taught philosophy for almost 30 years in athens his philosophy views evolved around nature itself you cannot imagine philosophy without nature because philosophy means nature that's all and those who interpret nature sometimes defame or fall into blasphemy that is why they were opposed by the um, fanatic group of people in every community when they want to express their findings of the world when they put forth their philosophical uh, findings not all of them have been welcomed by the people and in fact their findings have been very much useful in the days later after the death they have even they have been become uh, famous and have been appreciated by uh, the following of generations like this anaxagoras he was also a philosopher who uh, hail from who belonged to uh, he belonged to the period before socrates he discovered nature he had philosophy towards nature and his philosophical ideas revolve around nature 
His ideas contrasted and collided with contemporary ideologies, beliefs, and this led him to face life-threatening, life-threatening challenges. Yes, I told you, when a philosopher discovers something, and if if it is opposed to the uh, some religious doctrines, they are opposed. They are punished, even executed, because. Their philosophy is not clearly understood by them as long as they live. But it is after the death, after some generations pass by, then that their theory of philosophy is accepted by the people who quest for knowledge, who further investigate or experience. Following up Anaxora, Anaxora believed that uh, philosophical world within contained a part of everything. Nature was pure on its own and everything was jumbled together in caves. Following up Anaxagora, there is another philosopher named Anaximanda. He is a student of Thales. Thales is also one of the philosophers. In his students is Anaximanda. The first known writer on philosophy, the first surviving lines of Western philosophy were written by him. The first Western philosophy was written by Anaximander. A-N-A-X-I-M-A-N-N-D-E-R. Anaximander. And he is a renowned philosopher in the field of biology and geography he has a profound knowledge about biology and uh, geography next is empedocles empedocles was one of the most important pre socratic era of philosophers and even more outstanding were its poems that uh, went on to have a great influence of on later poets including the likes of Lucretius. M.P. Tocles, one of the philosophical landmarks has been his assertion of four element theory. This is very important. M.P. Tocles has discovered four elements of human life. He says that all matter is basically composed to four primary elements, earth, air, fire and water. Earth, air, fire and water. These are the four elements that has been basically composed of human life. Next, coming up is Zeno, very important person, is when most philosophers in ancient Greece were using reason and knowledge to interpret nature. When it was a time, it was a time when the, the philosophers were focusing uh, reason and knowledge to explain world, the nature. Zeno was the one person, one the renowned, I mean, let's say, a very special, particular philosopher who has devoted his lifetime to uh, explain many puzzles and uh, paradoxes of motion and plurality. When the world, other philosophers were focusing reason and uh, knowledge to explain nature, Zeno Ex, uh, focused towards puzzles and paradoxes, motion and plurality. He advocated multiple puzzles himself. He discovered uh, many puzzles of life, which were debated among later generations of philosophers. He left uh, to his creed some of the puzzles of philosophy that uh, most of the philosophers who, who followed him discussed in debate. The majority of contemporary arguments on his paradigms were on the infinite division of time and space. He focused time and space, such as if there is a distance, there is also half the distance and so on. For example, if there is a distance of 10 meters, he believed that there is not only 10 meters, it is 10 and half meters. That means 5 meters extra distance is there. So this is philosophy and uh, it, it depends upon the, uh, uh, the research of 
the concerned philosophers uh, that may not be sometimes uh, uh, easily understandable by us by some people that is why they are they don't uh, give believe them yeah later stage of life they have to believe when they come across, come across these things and uh, they they believe that yeah he was right so that is why most of the philosophers were could not be uh, could not become famous when they were alive it was after their death that people recognized the philosophy and they understood the worthiness of their research in philosophy about nature about world next is pythagoras another pre socratic philosopher from greece he is uh, known for more for his theories and ideas in mathematics than philosophy he is a renowned philosopher pythagoras who focused on mathematics rather than philosophy and he discovered many things many theories about maths in fact he is best known for the theorem theorem in geometry and that is named for him there is a separate geometry theorem that is named after pythagoras the, the students of physics or the students of mathematics would have been known about him or heard about him next it was this school that pythagoras tried to find a mutual harmony between real life and the practical aspects of philosophy he was a he con he jo juxtaposes he juxtaposed uh, the reality and the practical aspects of philosophy his teachings were not strictly confined to what we know as philosophy his teachings were uh, i mean very much uh, differentiating from the philosophy that we know today he was not he was not strictly or he was not bound to this philosophy that we have but he included common issues like rules on living what daily food to eat and so on so what are the foods to be eaten by people uh, how to live a very successful life and the way of life these have been discussed by pythagoras socrates yeah you know that he is a very famous philosopher he embarked a whole new perspective of achieving practical results through the application of philosophy in our daily life the practical application of philosophy understanding of philosophy of life give you practical results he believed something that was largely missing in the approach of pre socratic philosophy he laid a foundation for a separate philosophy that is he gave he gave the he brought he discovered the idea of achieving practical results by applying philosophy in our daily life and socrates became a key figure and amassed numerous followers but he also met many enemies there are many enemies because of his discovery who did, who had a difference of opinion outlook about his philosophy about his discovery eventually his beliefs and realistic approach to philosophy led him to his execution he was executed because of his philosophy as i told in the beginning when people don't understand when it is uh, somebody's philosophy is opposed or hostile to uh, someone's religious uh, beliefs they are taken seriously and sometimes as per the law they are executed and he was also executed but one might argue that his philosophical martyrdom more than anything else turned him into the iconic figure that is today now he was executed because of his philosophical ideas but later his philosophy was recognized by him after his death and even he became a iconic uh, figure in the field of philosophy socrates socrates is student plato plato is also uh, a philosopher who was a student of socrates was invisible is vis a visible visibly influenced and dominated by the philosophy of approach of his master he believed he followed his master very seriously he while his socrates was really occupied with interpreting philosophy based on human reasoning 
Plato combined the two major approaches of pre-Socrates metaf metaphysics and natural theology with Socrates theological ethical theology. He combined his own philosophy and the philosophy of his master Socrates. I'm just giving the outline of the life of the philosophers and their uh, findings. We need to uh, go further. It depends upon the interests of it depends on our own interest to uh, dig more more points regarding the field. Because if I go on explain the if I go deeper into the matter today, we will uh, no we will divide divide diversified and we will uh, divide ourselves from the uh, point that we are going to discuss. Because I'm going to just tell you the main time top ten philosophers. Okay, that is the topic of today. Now Aristotle Aristotle is the most influential among the people disciples of Plato. Socrates student is Plato, Plato's student is Aristotle. Plato's student Aristotle has the interpretation of things was more based on facts learned from the experience people will gain in their lives and approach that differed from that of his master who preferred a perspective that was beyond acceptability of physical senses. He, approved, he proved that to be an imaginative writer and equally creative polymath, gradually rewriting and established concepts uh, in about all areas of knowledge that he encountered. At a time when human knowledge was still far uh, too generalized, he broke down the knowledge into distinct categories like say, ethics, biology, mathematics, and physics. A classification pattern is still that used is still in practice today. Tales of Miletus gets the top spot on the list. Tales of Miletus is uh, one of the famous philosophers who stands first in the list, who hails from a historical father of ancient Greek philosophy. He is one of the famous historians uh, as the father of ancient philosophy majority of tales ideologies come from Aristotle Aristotle he follows Aristotle and his ideologies uh, to discover his to, to put forth his ideas the person and he is the first person to have investigated basic principles as the origin of matter and he is said to be the founder of a school of natural philosophy. Tales of Miletus is said to be the founder of uh, natural philosophy school. Yes, As a philosopher, Thales uh, uh, rarely confined his research to the limited area of contemporary knowledge and was actually engaged in understanding various aspects of knowledge. He focused his research on various fields of knowledge like philosophy, mathematics, science and geography. He is also said to have developed a well-defined standard of Theorization. Why changes occur? He focused on why changes happen in life. He proposed what was the basic underlying component of the world. Tales was highly esteemed among ancient Greeks, and uh, his hypothesis usually added meaning and and the birth the expansion, the extension to the existing body of concepts regarding nature. Dear students, as I told in the previous class that reality is a very important thing that gives experience. When a person understands the reality of something, he gets some experience and this experience makes him a philosophical person. 
and this philosophy of life is the most important thing to lead a successful and fruitful life successful is for the person concerned and fruitful for the people who are concerned with him who have attachment with him who are associative who have their uh, social and cultural association with him for example if i have knowledge my knowledge should be useful and useful for me if i use the knowledge properly i may be fruitful to others through my knowledge so you successful and fruitful so these things make a person complete and plus understanding the philosophy of life is possible through understanding others and understanding others give a great ample scope for a happy and rejoiced life so dear friends i think you have understood this video clip regarding the philosophy and if you have doubt is still you can uh, write you can state in the comment section and also i request all of you to be attentive to be regular to the online classes because if you don't have continuity you won't understand i want to learn from i want to uh, learn many more things from your comments because if you give comments i can learn that what you have learned so friends the students attend the classes regularly and uh, you, and please mention your registered number so that we can uh, mark the attendance i hope you enjoy the class all the best thank you for watching have a nice day and please do take good care of yourself and members of your family thank you